piece I'm writing hands-free won't be using any instruments, so the National Youth Orchestra, which is about 165 amazing young musicians, uh, will put down their flutes, their clarinets, their cellos, and then perform my piece, which will be using everything apart from instruments, so clapping, stamping, singing, beatboxing, basically anything I can think of that avoids instruments. I think um, 2012 I was approached through the National Youth Orchestra because I teach uh, on the National Youth Orchestra and I run their composition course with another composer, Larry Goves. So I've spent a lot of time with them. I've been there kind of for two weeks, three times this year. So it's been you know, quite a big time commitment. So I think uh, they like the idea of maybe someone who's already working with them and already knows the young people. And also I've done quite a lot of this sort of writing for beatboxing before or um, you know writing for pieces for quite uh, challenging situations I'm always up for a challenge so actually I was thinking about looking quite a lot of the opening ceremony choreography for some of the recent Olympics and you know especially in the most recent one in China this the incredible you know massed crowd movements and I'm hoping to add a few sort of um, physical movements into it. So there's been that kind of side of just watching, you know, the spectacle of watching a lot of people perform that. I'm thinking not just about the music, but also how it's going to look, how you can maybe use some other aspects of it as well. One of the challenges of this piece is going to be that it has to be memorised. So there's not probably going to be a conventional score. Um, I imagine what I'll be trying to think about is blocks of material that can be memorised and trying to work out ways of people memorising them. And I'll be hopefully working with some workshop leaders, so I've started to kind of think about it and get my options open and there's been some surprises that, you know, it turns out clapping for more than 30 seconds is pretty painful, beatboxing for a while can be quite exhausting, but it's been really exciting seeing how up for it they are and trying out different sounds and I've had loads of young players showing me bits of body percussion and stuff they can do, so I'm starting to get a bit of a kind of catalogue of sounds and take it forward from there. And then it's just working out what as a listener will be the most the most sensible progression of those sounds to work through, is it clapping to singing to beatboxing or how am I going to kind of control the narrative of the piece and then it's trying to work out practical ways of actually making it work and sound and look good. I think what I like about this piece is that um, it's not writing for something that I can't do, it's writing for sound, noises, patterns that I have to be able to do myself as well so it's very much a piece that I can realistically try and build in my bedroom. When the announcement day came and we all met up in London it was a bit of a you know yeah loads of really exciting composers and great to see such a mix of uh, not just geographical locations but also you know composers writing lots of different styles and also ensembles you know right across the board and I, th I think that's really really exciting and healthy there's not this sort of sense of oh another one of these that everything just feels very much about the composer and the ensemble and what they're trying to do and that kind of focus I think is really, really healthy.